One of the most common questions I'm asked is, am I too late? Is there still opportunity or have I missed the boat? Trends change, fads come and go with the wind, and it can sometimes feel like you're always chasing relevancy. While it's true you need to keep up to date to stay in the game, the tempo is a lot more manageable than one might think. I started my first business on my parents' dial-up computer, hand-coding websites in raw HTML on Dreamweaver. If you know what that is, you're officially old in internet years. I built websites, got them to rank in Google, made some money, and used it to pay for college. Then Google went through some changes and I had to adjust. The puck keeps moving. You keep learning. You keep growing. Some people resist marketplace changes because their primary income stream feels under threat. At the same time, those changes open up new opportunities. Today, there are more available tools and opportunities than ever. When I started my first business, there were no website tools to help you launch a site in just a few minutes. There was no social media. There was no YouTube. There was no way to get your name out there. You'd think that when those things came about, everyone would have rejoiced, right? Finally, an easy, fast, free way to build your audience. But guess what? For every one person celebrating, there were two out there complaining. People feared that social media would put bloggers out of business. They thought Facebook would kill email marketing. Change is inevitable, but those changes always come with opportunity. So there's really no such thing as missing the boat. For example, Amazon's Fulfilled by Amazon program, or FBA, was one of the greatest developments in the last few years. FBA made it possible for any person on the planet to quickly and easily open his or her own store, and Amazon would do all the fulfillment from its warehouse. Don't underestimate how massive a shift this was. For the first time in history, you could open up a store on the internet's version of Fifth Avenue, pay zero rent, and be in front of millions of customers. For the first few years on FBA, it was the Wild West. It was easy to rank for keywords on Amazon, and competition was low. Hustlers poured into the scene selling everything from iPhone cases to kayaks. Anything you put on Amazon.com would sell, because FBA made it so wide open. As my mentor Travis put it, it was so wide open that idiots got rich. When you have a massive shift like that, you almost always have a Wild West period, followed by a big correction or consolidation. For years, I warned my podcast listeners and followers to use the opportunities on Amazon to build a real brand. Those who did it made millions of dollars. Those who did not got swallowed up when big players came onto the scene selling spatulas for 50 cents cheaper than they were. As that landscape changed, people started complaining it wasn't easy anymore or that the opportunity on Amazon or anywhere online was gone. Well, yeah, like anything, the puck has moved and new opportunities continue to open. And I'm just going to go off script for a second because after coronavirus in early 2020, this happened again. People complained that things were changing and retail stores went out of business. But Amazon and other internet platforms continue to grow. So when there's changes in the economy or changes in the marketplace, there's always new opportunity. Always. Now is still the best time to start a new business. Here's the truth. If you are building a business online, you have more opportunities than ever before. When Amazon was new, there was no Kickstarter, which makes it possible for you to fund your business with nearly zero dollars. There was no Instagram, which makes it possible to put your product in front of tens of thousands of people in a heartbeat. We'll cover all these opportunities in future chapters. But for now, just know that there will always be opportunities. And we are still only in the second inning of the internet business landscape. Furthermore, there is always a demand for good products and good brands. I mean, if Folgers, which is objectively crappy coffee, can continue to be a billion-dollar brand, then there's opportunity for you too. The landscape will continue to change, and competition will always be part of the process. But you can still win, especially if you put these steps to work.